Yo, what's going on guys? It's Spicy Spider back with another train tutorial. Today, we are building my very first non-American, or non-North American steam, lo uh, steam locomotive. This is, yeah, this is a steam locomotive now. It's my first, um, I guess it's a German because this is the, it's a Dutch Bahan. I think I said that right. But I have it with the rail on, this would say rail on on it, rail on logistics. It's just a white line because that's all you can really do in Minecraft. Um, this is a BR-101. I thought it was a 146, but then somebody told me that it didn't look like the 146. And after I looked back at the 101, it looks more like it because this down here is bigger. I really love how this turned out. I thought it wasn't going to turn out great because, as you can see, I'm more of a... I'm from the United States. You guys probably think I'm from Australia because I always say mate. Like, thanks mate to everybody, but, I mean... Anytime somebody says mate, you can never sound, you always sound Australian, like if you say good day, mate. <laughs> so, this tutorial was really fun, to, or this was a really fun build to do. I actually have another one, but it was outdated and not very, uh, it was outdated, it's, a, it's outdated, it doesn't really look the best. Um, the Fantographs, I'm not, I'm not really proud of them. I mean, I didn't want to make them, like, too technical, so we're like, you can't even, like, build them. And these are horns like I didn't want it to be like to the point where like you cannot like even get it to work um, Now you could reskin this into the Amtrak paint scheme I, Although that I know that here in the United States we don't have any of them so you could reskin it into Probably this one would work The AC it's the ACS 64 that they have that Amtrak has is here in the United States um, Those are built by si Simons some people say Simeons. I think it's Simons, but this is built by um BR, I don't know what the BR stands for. I think Dutch Bahan is the name of it, or that might be the company. I'll put the company, and it'll be in the title, so. Um, they have, like, almost a semi-streamlined look. Uh, the dragon heads are the buffers. Um, I don't know if buffers are counted in length, so I didn't count them in length, because this here's the coupling, and I don't count my couplings in length. So, I mean, it still works. Um, and this bottom part, I couldn't get a good visual part of the bottom. Because the thumbnail, the picture I was using, it was at, it was like this. Um, but I was able to get some top views, so. I mean, I don't know if this is here. I saw like some like weird like pipe thing that looked like goes under here, so. And I just slapped up the build. I don't have the Minecraft music playing. We're just going to have to, we'll just play without it. So. I'm going to start off with the front plow. So get out. You need blackstone. Uh, blackstone slab. Um, also get out the parts for the wheels. Alright, and starting off with the front plow. You go right to your first block. Place one here. It's actually supposed to be curved at the end, so curve like that. Because I noticed it was like... It wasn't perfectly straight, it was like almost tipped at the front. It's like a, like an almost aerodynamic look. And then place a slab behind that, and then you'll also need to place a dark oak trap door. What the heck? I meant to pick block that. This dark oak trap door there, and then get back out your iron trap door. And now, going back one block from here, place light gray terracotta there, and skip three. And also, this build was uh, requested by New Freedom MC. I forgot to say that. Uh, you guys probably already saw it because I already put it up in the title or up in the intro sequence. So thanks, Sam, for making this possible. He really wanted me to build him one. Um, so here you go. Here you go, buddy. Um, go check out his YouTube channel. He has a lot of really great yachts, pirate ships, shipping containers. Go check him out. He also has done a few vehicle tutorials. He has... He has over, he has more subscribers than me. He has like 3,000 or 4,000 subscribers, so go check him out. Um, I'll link his channel down below. I should probably start doing that with everybody that requests something. Alright, so then this is, when you're done this, uh, when you finish the wheelbase, if you're following along, uh, hopefully I wasn't distracting you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get out Spruce Fence Gate. And open them up at each of the hopper. I noticed this when I was building it. Um, 
it doesn't really look exactly like this it was it almost looked like like that a little bit or I was gonna do a trapdoor there but there's like this thing it's not like a hand thing or something I don't know I just I just noticed it so I wanted to give it more detail so when you have that we're gonna build the second set and I think you want to go back 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and also this is part of the 2021 train collection I have to change the world name to 2022 so all these builds here um, all the new builds I build are going to be fit to 2022 so but this is part of the 2021 so uh, so don't worry so that means that maybe I might redo my big boy tutorial and upload it for the future um, you just want to do the exact same truck design and we're gonna need to get back out dark oak fence like that and stone brick slab and take the slabs all the way out there to the front iron trap door and hoppers on both sides in the front of the wheels and then we're gonna redo we're gonna not redo we're gonna do the plow part again because these are double-sided you could make this just a single-sided work just one cab and you could flatten this up um, I don't really know how that would look it probably look a bit funny but and sometimes I don't get to your guys tutorials because I still have to I still have to find references and I start building them and then I stop building them so um, yeah take out your spruce fence gate place one there I know it's really weird without the minecraft music Maybe I'll throw some like PlayStation Share Factory music very quietly in the background. Alright, so this is what you should have, and we are done. I am not I am kidding, we are not done. Um, this is something I haven't done before. We're gonna go ahead and do the underbody detail just so we can get it out of the way and I don't have to worry about doing it later. So how does it go? Alright. So place a block there and place one behind it and then destroy the first block that you placed. Stack it all the way down and don't place one there. Then you want to get out um, a slab there. Destroy the block behind it. Then take out, and then you want to go one, two, three, place a slab there, a hopper, another slab, and take a grindstone and open it up and place it so where these things look like they're connecting against this this is not an extra train wheel these could work as train wheels but they work better on motorcycles so All right and then we're gonna do the next hopper alright so this is what uh, oh we also forgot something <laughs> place the slab right there so we're gonna copy this exact same thing over except for this one you're just gonna put these things you're gonna mirror it so you're just going to flip it around like this. This is exactly what you want to do. The under, the under uh, detail, underbody detail, I wasn't really, it's not the best, but it still works. So I kind of had to kind of play with it. Just guess what would be under there. Air brakes, air, uh, air piping and air brakes and stuff. All right, so we have the bottom part done. Next, get out cyan terracotta, stone brick stairs, brick stairs, anvil dark oak fence gate dragon head and let's get out red wool and red concrete powder and glass so starting from this hopper yeah starting from this hopper place one you want to place a slab there let's take this all the way down leave a space there Right above that slab, same on this slab. You, I'm placing on here because I have to be able to stack it across. And then when you get to this hopper, you want to place a stone brick stairs there, and then place a place a cyan terracotta there. And let's fill in this area. Like so. Same thing here, you want to leave a space there, leave and one there one there and one there this is supposed to be like a little step ladder right there 
So then here, you want to place two stairs like that. Make sure that the slab portion of the stair is facing that way and the one at the back is facing that way. Next, take your, oh, you want to take out a stone brick stairs and we'll go to make terracotta there and place it there and make sure that the highest portion is looking like this. It looks like it's, it's flat right now. Do the same thing here. I really hope this controller isn't getting drift because I kind of felt something like that back there. Well, drift would be really helpful in racing games, am I right? <laughs> Pun intended. Okay. Then take your brick stairs, place one there, place one there, and one on top like that. Then take an anvil, one there, one there, and a dark oak fence gate like that. Place terracotta, place a dragon head there, a dragon head there. I've always noticed when you destroy these heads, the soul sand texture comes out, so. I don't know. Oh, it kind of makes sense because it's a mob head. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I think you can get mob heads in the game, like dropping from the certain mobs is just super hard to get, especially from the wither skeletons. Alright, so then this is the front, um, these are the buffers and this is the coupling. So then you want to take a fence gate and open it up like that, that's supposed to be like a little step ladder. Then we're going to go into the back, we're going to do the same thing. same exact thing that we did up there kind of doing things a little bit out of order of what we done it but that's a-okay it's a-okay mate so it's gotta do it the other way around um oh yeah the dragon heads why did I choose dragon heads I don't know people use them and they look better than mob skulls and then better than extended pistons please do not use extended pistons unless you have like a special texture on the end that doesn't make it look like wood Alright, then take your red wool and place one and place three to fill in that gap and two here and you want to skip one, place your red concrete powder and sack it all the way down until you get to that stair, red concrete powder, like that and then you also want to fill this part in. And I forgot to place the stair there, so place the stair there, don't forget to do that part otherwise your build's going to look weird. Well nobody will notice it until they point it out or until you point it out, so. And take this red concrete powder and make sure it's three blocks high to stack one, two extra blocks. I used wool because concrete looked just too, it, it did, the color didn't look good enough. I didn't really like the color. Besides, the red goes better with the uh, brick color. And I'm using bricks instead of red nether brick because you can see why ne red nether brick looks kind of weird. I mean, crimson, mi I mean, diorite could definitely, uh, not diorite. Uh, the granite could definitely work, but bricks are the things that everybody used to, for, like, red stuff, if you, because that's the only thing we had. Take your red wool and make it so where this becomes a 2x2 two two pattern. So just stack two up and place your gray stained glass there. And place eight bricks there like that. And don't forget to make red wool so where it becomes five long. I know it kind of looks a little funny. I said flunny there. I didn't say funny. Right, you should have that. Get out. Quartz stairs, acacia fence gate, and a birch button. These buttons would be the headlights or the lights, ditch lights, whatever. I think the headlight is like right there, but I couldn't really fit it. That just didn't look right. So, and if these these lights will change between this color, but will change between white and red. Red is if it's facing, if the back is face. You you get how it works. It's like on a car. All right, take your acacia fence gate and open it up like that. You're also going to need a slab, but we'll do that later. So now we're going to go all the way over here. You're going to copy the exact same thing. Uh, these here, this this is like a white strip there. Um, I don't know if it's like reflecting tape or something. I don't know. If you guys know, you guys can comment in the comments down below. Don't forget to place your red wool there. Gray stained glass like that. I'm just checking something here. Yeah, there's like a little uh, seam here where the windows meet. That doesn't look right. So like, if you're looking at the front, it would look something like that. You could put a glass, pa like a black glass pane here or a fence here if you want it to look like that. Or you could always put a fence behind it. But I'm not really going for that. It still looks good how it is. And then you're going to want to fill this whole section in with the red wool. Like so. 
just fill it all in. Also, last night I was so bored I decided to build a train tutorial that wasn't mine but from some other YouTubers because I had nothing else better to do. That's, that's what you should have. You take your brick stairs and right here, one, two. One, two. And one, two there. Fill in this empty space. I'm sure you guys can hear like this weird like sound. I have a heater down here because it gets really cold where I am. Alright, let's clear your inventories. Or it gets really cold where I am downstairs. Get out brick slab and then place it here so it gives it more of that uh, angled streamlined kind of look. It's kind of hard to make angles like this in Minecraft, but like that. And let's get out Actually, we'll do all these details last. Let's go ahead and go to the top. Scientary cause is what you're going to need. Stone brick. Cobblestone stairs. Use stone brick stairs. Not don't get stone bricks. Uh, stone brick slab. Iron trap door. Dark oak fence gate. Stone button. Acacia button. And a lever. And you also need that. Uh, it's a. Uh, this is optional. I put it on there because I saw it on the top. You could. Re you don't even have to do this. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just like a radio antenna. So, but I do. But if you want it to look more realistic, then I do it. All right. So for the horns, like bolts or something. Cobblestone stairs. These would act as like ventilation maybe for the electric motor. I don't know. Maybe just air ducts or something. I don't know. I like that. And you're going to go down here. And make sure that this is a an eight block gap. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just so that's why you guys don't accidentally get the whole length of it wrong. So. You want to fill this in. Make sure it goes back eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And then fill this part in with slabs, except when you're getting to the middle, you want to leave it like, so it looks like an E right now, and then it's going to look like an eight. So make sure it looks like an eight, and then place your cyan terracotta in between. And I have one phanograph is ra raised and one's lowered, so usually one of them will be raised. I don't know if it determines on direction, but if this thing's just sitting idle, both these will be lowered. So if you want them both to be lowered, there's that one. If you want them both to be raised, there's that one. Or if you just don't want fantographs at all, then you can do that. But it looks kind of weird without the fantographs. I wonder where that name started from. It doesn't sound like it came from, from the United States. Well, most words didn't. I mean, probably besides America, but that's it. <laughs> America! Right, same thing there what you should have we're not done yet uh, let's move up here these buttons would be like um I don't know like maybe I just these weren't really on there I just added them because I kind of like the detail they almost can look like bolts of course bolts are not this oversized they'd be like one pixel but all right now we're gonna move into the phantograph so for the closed or for the lowered one the lowered one's really only a block lower so gonna place an iron trap door there we can't place one there sadly I encountered this problem but I don't really care about this problem because of this here so it's not that big of a deal besides these things can get lowered pretty low anyways I mean if you guys don't like it then you can just do a stair there but then that looks a bit weird so we don't have to use chapter one less chapter if you're building this in survival one less iron ingot <laughs> right and then make them like this so this would be for like electric line. So if you do have an electricity line going through. Now of course you have an electric line. Since this does count as a block and you have a wire. This would happen. So really what you could do is just destroy that one there. But more into that when we get to the other part. So this is the lowered one. You're going to need two iron trap doors here. Stone brick stairs there. Stone brick slab above that. And then a stone uh, brick uh, slab there. And then you want it to look something like this up here. Nope, not like that. I don't have any freight cars for this thing either. Or no passenger cars. I still got to get passenger cars out for it. So until then, the thumbnail is just it's sitting on a stationary track. Alright, so that's it raised up. We are not done yet. Take out your sea turtle egg and place it there. And don't let this ever happen. Oh, I can't do it in this mode. Hmm, surprisingly. 
All right, clear your infants, your infantry mates, mites. Get a stone button, acacia button, dark oak fence, white concrete, and a birch sign. Take your acacia button, place one there. Small little detail I saw when I was looking through it. Uh, and then take your stone buttons. This is the door. It looks like there's like two little latches. I don't know if one's a deadbolt and one's a thing, or it could just be where they connect, so. Oh, also, don't forget, uh, make sure that these windows are blacked out if you don't want to be seeing a hollow body, so. Black out those windows. I'll do that later. I didn't do it on this side yet. Nope. Don't forget to take your cage buttons. Like that. Then take your dark oak fence gate. One there and one there. Really, there's handrails right here. But I did birch fence and then I got rid of it. I put it back up. I just... I didn't want to do it because I noticed these buttons here. And I just wanted to keep them there, so... And make sure there's two of them that are open. These would be like... Um, handrails or like the... Stepping stools. Right. And then... Take your birch button. I'm surprised I didn't get that out. I thought I did. Alright. So then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your birch button. And two there. And your sign there. Same thing on the other side, except no sign there. And a birch sign there. Now, we got to do this now. I accidentally made it um, an odd number. So I'll fix that. So I'm gonna go here, destroy it all across like that, and fill it in. And then you want to make this, yeah, like that. Three of them there. Actually, we'll slap in a fourth one. Make it six, and then yep, like that, and. Before I try to end this off here, let me make sure I got everything down. Just a routine flyby maintenance check. Oh, did forget something. Alright. Make sure that you place that on that other side. Make sure it's here too. Yep, it is. And I forgot to put the buttons. And we'll go ahead and black out those windows. So this is what it should look like, sorry for the talking upstairs. So yeah, this is the tutorial. Uh, really fun one to do. I hope I got everything done on it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching this. This is my first non-North non American style build. So passenger cars and freight cars will come out. Maybe I'll build uh, hoppers for it. Um, I could probably just edit my uh, covered hopper, make it look more like this style. Like how they do it. Well, you get it. And I'm also working on a future tutorial, the EMD DDA40X, the largest diesel locomotive in the world. Along with an SD40, the Southern Pacific Daylight, and a new addition to the Union Pacific Northerns, the original FEF1. You can kind of see the differences between the two. And don't mind about that stuff over there. Those are just some tests that I have behind those brick things. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more tutorials like this, just comment down below and I'll get them done. I'll do more of these non-American style stuff. I'll do some more German, UK, maybe some UK steam. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out. Great rest of your day. See ya.